This is no typical gloom. Need to stay alert. Yeah, we can say that. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Are you the true soul? Uh, depends on who wants to know. I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Go Grab on. A torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. All right. <sighs> Pick up a torch, guys. Uh. Not as a melee weapon. Oh. I already have a torch? Okay. Fine, whatever. Okay. So, where are we going? Oh boy. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. What do you mean? The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? No. I must be blessed. Oh. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Well, oh, um... suppose that's one way to look at it. No, this is probably the first time I've been out of my element in the dark. This is no cavern. This is true darkness. Perhaps Lady Shah will show you a path to her embrace if you are worthy. Lady uh -huh. Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps yeah. they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Hmm. Sure there's one or two. Here or there. This beast didn't go down without a fight. Hmm. Shadow cursed undead. Black Oleander. What is that? Oh? Too big to be a spear wound. A horn? Hmm. Ooh, ring mail armor. Interesting. Um, anybody not encumbered? Let's, let's see here. Um, Probably stop picking up these heavy crossbows. They're a bit too heavy for us. Oh, he's encumbered. Okay, so 160 is our limit. What? Oh, 158 is our look. Maybe 59. Okay, Shadowheart, I guess. Oh, and she's encumbered too. 
Ага. Actually, the fuck? What, what? What am I thinking? Why am I picking this up? It has 14 armor class. Who still has armor that's less than 14 armor class? Besides Gale, of course. Lazel, how much armor class you got? Four, eighteen. Yeah, it's useless now. Still Don't need alive. that. So that's progress. All right. Uh, send the spicy sausage back, back to camp. There we go. All right. Uh, Refugees Journal. A tiefling's journal charting the, the journey from Il Turel to the Emerald Enclave and now on the road to Baldur's Gate. The ox just up and died. It started choking out of nowhere, then keeled over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it went down, and the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab what we can and keep going. But this place feels wrong. My skin is crawling. Like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell they feel the same. You know what the You know what this reminds me of? Hold on. See what we got here. Wonder what's past this. Seriously? There we go. All right. This is what this reminds me of. It reminds me that... Um... Somewhere back in... near the Emerald Grove... There was that shipment thing that... I don't think we've ever unlocked. I thought that I needed a key from one of the people that I killed. But, of course, that was before I realized you could open the context menu and uh, do other things besides open. So, just just this one last thing I gotta do. I gotta come back, come back to the Emerald Grove and... Um, I gotta remember where that chest was. Uh, wasn't there also a chest in the owl, the owl bear cave that I didn't open? Gonna have to check on that too. Okay, um... So where would we need to go? To find... The... Shipment place. Okay, this might take a little bit. Oh, alright, there we go. Ah. Caravan strongbox. So, I try to open it. See what's inside. Kablamo. Ooh, an iron flask. A flask that can hold friends and foes. Likely to make the former the latter. What? 
What sorcery is this? Iron flask that can make... That can turn friends into enemies? What the hell? Where is this thing? Oh. Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Hmm. I will investigate the flask. Using my arcana proficiency should be fairly easy. Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This mm. is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding a creature. The scene mm. stopper suggests it is inhabited. It is? We'll open it up then. What's inside? The is cold and heavy in your hand. I'll remove the stopper. The flask shudders in your hand, then magical energy emanates from the neck. <clears throat> oh. As a creature emerges. <clears throat> oh! It's another one of those. Intriguing. That was the package? Huh. Don't you run from me? Oh, that's probably not good. Morning. Huh. Another spectator. What are the odds of that? <sighs> okay then. Brilliant. We, um... We got our treasure. And what a booty it was. Quite exhausted. A good night's sleep would do me wonders. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think so. Day is just getting started. Alright. Finally found that owl bear nest. Tell me, get that chest. The unobtainable chest. Oh, it's got Silune Seal. What's that all about? What does Silune Seal mean?
Cellian seal. Anyone? Cellian seal. Do I have to like pray? Do I have to pray to it? Cellian seal. I command you to grovel. Oh. Okay. Um, let's look this up then. Try to get a definitive answer. So that we don't end up wasting any more time here. Baldur's Gate 3... Cellion seal. How to open the Cellion seal golden chest in the Owl Bear Cave? Um, these fucking ads out of the way. Uh, figure out how to open it. You take damage when you try to open a lock with the chest. Uh, let's see. This is the first, the first time you'll run into Cellion Seal in the game, and you'll have to get a little creative to remove it. The unorthodox approach to opening this gilded chest should be a lesson to keep your eyes open as you yeah, 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 get on with it. Um, jump across the water to the small alcove with the statue. Walk behind the statue and your character and companions may comment on an item of note, a Cellionite prayer sheet depending on their skill checks. Doing so will reveal the Cellunat prayer sheet which you'll need to read and win a religion check to notice the seal is the same as the nearby gilded chest. Jump back over the water, interact with the chest. If you've read the Cellunat prayer sheet, Cellun's seal will disappear from the chest and allow you to open it. Right. So this is, this is another situation where I have to succeed in multiple checks just to open a fucking chest. Cool. Something over there. Genesis of Siliun and Shar. I think we've read that. Prayer dedicated to Selyun, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Just an old prayer. Fail. Wanna try that again? Chests unlocked. Oh, my prayers are answered. Okay. Let's we we... leave it. Huh? Or even destroy it if possible. What? What do you mean? Why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Trifling with that moon witch will only bring you trouble. Shah's guidance is clear. Shatterheart, we're in no position to abandon resources. I'm sure Shar will understand. Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. Right. It hurts. Oh? Uh oh. What do you mean it hurts? Idol of Selune. Moon drop pendant. Writhing dance. When the wearer has 50 hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Cellunite Ryan. Saluna Idol, really? Are you in need of a paperweight? Sure, I'm sure it will fetch a good price for. You know. From the right, the right buyer. 
How much is it worth? 60 gold? Not bad, see? Not that bad. Mm. Eager for battle. Yeah, you know what? Still breathing, despite everything. I think we're good for now. All right. Fascinating stuff. All right. So, can we now go back to? Wherever it was that we were at, I guess this place is the quickest way to get there. All right. Well, I promise that start of this session we would be on our way to Baldur's Gate unhindered. Without any distractions. But uh, here we are, 45 minutes in. Still no closer to Baldur's Gate. But now, now I think that we've covered all our tracks. And um, even if we didn't, I don't care now. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh! What's this? Opulent... Where did this come from? I didn't see this before. Weird. I guess I was too focused on the... All of the undead and stuff. Ghouls and what have you. Okay, so... Right. Let's get back to the trail. No more distractions, guys. Come on. We're all professionals here. And, uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's, um... Torch up, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Even if it can't be seen, some criminal acts can be overheard. Hide to reduce noise. Interesting. It is said mind flare tadpoles consume their hosts in a matter of days, destroying the victim in both body and soul. <sighs> Morbid, but interesting, I guess. You cannot target enemies in darkness and fogged areas, I think. Fog clouds, unless they are very close to you. Okay, good to know. Alright, uh... Re-equip our torch here, and uh, oh, oh dear! Well, that can be a good sign. I, mean, I know we've been gone for a while, but still. Oh dear! All right, uh, let's keep going then. Not this way. Never mind. Haven't saved in a while. It's probably a good idea to do that. Oh. Okay. It's a heavy chest below. The dark lady shields me. I can feel her. With a flick of the wrist. Good for you. Sage green die. 
Okay. What do we got here? Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Greetings. Oh, One step closer and yes. two soul. Forgive me. I did not see you in the dark. You are forgiven. How did you know I was a true soul? You have the look. You come to recognize it if you spend enough time around the Absolute's lieutenants. Besides, I cannot think who else will be walking these shadows. All right. Speak to me if you want to get moving. Until then, welcome to the most cursed place in Faerun. Okay. I will... I will speak to you. Mm. What, what do you got down here, huh? Stay sharp. These shadows can sneak up on you. I see. I will keep that in mind. You alright, friend? Peace off. I'm busy. Okay. Kind of rude, but. I've got faith. Sure. Alright, well, he said speak to me if you want to get moving, so maybe we should speak to him. True soul, an honor. Greetings. Did you bring the liar? Um. No. We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her lyre to summon a guide through the darkness. Right. The Night Warden did not send you. Who did? What are you doing here? I'm traveling to Moonrise, like you. I fear neither of us are traveling then. The darkness here is murderous. The only safe way through is with a guide. Of course, you are free to take your chances if you wish. But I will be waiting here for the Night Warden's liar. And where can I find this liar? Minthara always carried it on her person. I assume she still does. <laughs> Unless someone swiped it. Right. Uh, wait here. I'll I'll return. As the absolute wills. We'll wait. <sighs> Ain't like we got much choice, is it? Oh dear. Did I sell? Did I sell her liar? No, I what happened to her coward. liar? Was there even a liar? No. no I should let your mum eat you. Uh, I got this. You guys want this? Doubt it. All right. Well, maybe it's back at camp. I don't know. It's worth a shot. If I didn't sell it, then. Might still be around here somewhere. Uh, camp supplies.
Liar, 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 liar. Amulet, Goblin Drawing, Necromancy. And that's it. End of the road. Yeah. So there's a teeny tiny little chance that. I might have sold it off to someone. And so, it's probably gone forever. But, uh, we can do this. Drop this book and use a divine attack on it. Can't be an inanimate entity. Okay, so that's not gonna work then. Um, okay, fine. There is work to do. You do uh, guiding bolt. Apparently, guiding bolt is a holy spell. There we go. Oh! Oh! Oops! What the hell? These come out of the book? That's new. Oh man, didn't know that. Something, I guess. See some strong shadows. Thanks a lot, fellas. I don't know if that's that was because of the... Must be because of the book, not because of where we are, but... You never know. You alright? Hold close to the light and keep the shadows at bay. Yeah. 
Got it. Thanks for that. Alright. Some journals have been updated. I guess. Alright, well, it seems that... Yep. It seems like, uh... We don't have... The liar. What was that? What was what? Nothing. Which means that we won't have any extra help, which which is fine. Just don't need any extra help anyway. So let me just take a quick break, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, oh, Gail wants to say something. Stay. It's quite thrilling to fight off such grim creatures as this region throws at us. Especially being at your side. Uh, I, um, once read a book that explained in some detail the effect a brush with danger has on one's desire for, uh, other forms of stimulation. Have you ever read anything on that subject? No. Gail, is there something you want to say? Only that I find you quite irresistible. Even uh -huh. illuminated by such rotten light as this place produces. Perhaps it's just the thrill of our near undead experience talking. Standing at your side through such darkness and disrepair. It only makes me want you more. Unfortunately, this is neither the time nor the place to indulge such feelings, so... You must be patient and push all such thoughts aside. For now. Was there anything else you wish to discuss? After that, I don't think I want to discuss anything with you. Right. Mm. Alright, well. This little hunting party. It's not gonna go with us, so we're just gonna have to go to Moonrise Towers all on our own. Here we go. Oh, it's a good start. Don't give me trouble now. A locked trunk. Intriguing. Oh? Uh-oh. I don't like that we that we all failed a perception check here. Oh boy. Surprised by what? Cutting to the chase. Shadow Cursed Blight Yes. 
Interesting. All right. Um. Charmed, I'm sure. So maybe we should all be equipping torches. Encumbered now because he can't can't handle one torch. There we go. That'll do. All right. That was fun. Where to next? Brave. A plain, unadorned note. Dear Mom, you forgot me, and that's not nice. Last time I forgot to tie my shoes good and tight, you gave me a clout in the air. So I hope someone does that to you. But if you can, can you come back, please? Or if you meet Mr. Lupperdiddle Swires, send him, because he's famous and quite good at helping people, and I need help, Mum. I feel funny here in the dark. The dark goes movie. Movie. It hurts. My head feels like porridge. It hurts. Help me, Mr. Swi- Mum? Oh, Mum. 
Sorry, I wasn't brave. We're gonna go this way then. Right through the vines and the flames. Where the hell are we going? Oh! I know where we're supposed to go. We didn't have to go here, anyways. about right huh what do we have here yearning for the moon so much has changed in our fair town. The moon used to shine so brightly here. We'd all stand out, our shoulders bared, our faces upturned, drinking in her blessings like milk. Such darkness now. I must watch the moon in secret, from my window or late at night when the town's asleep. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the last sane person left in Rythwin. I don't think I, that's how I was supposed to unlock that waypoint, but I'll take it. Let's walk down here. No day, no night. It's as though time itself is abandoned this place. Similar to the astral plane in some ways. Wouldn't you say, Blazel? Hardly. The astral plane is threaded with light and silver. Life-giving and wondrous in all directions. Nothing like this dismal abyss. <coughs> oh! Key. Key to what, I wonder? back there oh a dwirgar what are you doing up there dwirgar hmm how do I get to you dwirgar Scout's Journal. The book is redolent with the enticing smell of paper and ink. Shittin' and his shittin' scouting tasks. You, Dwergar, find another way through the Shadow Curse. Sure, right, shittin' near. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? Gnomes, gnomes, I killed you in the underdark. You can't be. Ha ha ha, I found your way through the curse. Shitting near. The way through the Shadow Curse is to let the curse go through you. Ha ha ha. You know, I don't think that's right. 
Not sure I agree with your hypothesis there, Mr. Dwergar. Alright, well. Fascinating stuff. We have here. Oh, here we go. This is always a good sign. She was no fun. All I wanted was to play. Someone. Hello. Me? Who wants to play? Huh? Oh. Nobody beats me at hide and seek. Yeah. Will you play with me? Um. Play. This place is no. This is no place for a child. That's even where you are. Of course I am. Now you're going to play with me or not? I will study the boy. Try to understand his true nature. Not an ordinary child, but not a spectre either. One part of a greater whole. Something ancient. And oddly sad. All right, kid. You want to play? Fine, let's play. All right. I'll hide, and you seek. Find yeah. me, and you win. All right, let's begin. Get ready, and no cheating. No, of course not. Now that we have the place to ourselves, let's, uh, let's have a look around. Dad's axe. Okay. A couple turns should do. Oof. Ring of Mental Inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. Okay. What the fuck is that? Stuffed Albert toy. Sure. Why not? A locked desk? It's the first. Damn it. Oliver's Diary <sighs> Dear Diary, Day 1. Nothing ever happens in this town. I'm ready to go to the gate. If Mother won't let me, I'll run away myself. She says my lungs are too weak for the smoke. But how am I living at all when I do, when all I do is milk the row thing? Day 7. Ha! Huh, a strange fog is descending over our own town. Hasn't left in days. Getting hard to breathe. Mother is eating her words, saying we should head out to the city to stay for a while until it lifts. We go at dawn. Day 14. We tried to leave, but there are a few, few, but there are creatures from beyond the graves skulking around the outskirts of our land. It's too late. Day 21. The Rothe are all possessed, knocking down their fence, battling and bashing one another to death, dying and then fighting again. The shadows are everywhere. The shadows are everyone. Everyone? Right outside our window. I can't see more than a few strides out. Day 28. I'm not dead yet, but I'm gonna die here, aren't I? I can hardly breathe. Why does it not get into our house? Why doesn't the curse take us already? Day 35. 
I can't stand this. I've been trying to write a memoir of myself, but it's still no good. I'm too weak to pen fine words. I'm going to die unremembered, be what may. It's getting pointless to cower in here. There's nothing we can do about all this... About this all encroaching dark. Tomorrow I will walk out into the fog and I will laugh. With love, a farmhand, forever to be unknown. Interesting. So the last thing he says is that he wants to get away from this place. And yet, there he is, playing hide and seek. How odd. Alright, well, where could this little boy have run off to? Can't have gone too far. A night orchid. Interesting. That's it. The very plates of the earth have been shattered by the magic of the Shadow Curse. Utterly fascinating. Unless you happen to be standing on it, of course. All right. Of course. There is that part. Oh boy. Are we about to be are we about to be jumped again? <sighs> Damn it. That's a big one. Ow. Hey, it's my turn. The hell? Come on, man. Hey, it's my turn. Why are they taking... Stop taking my turns away. That's more like it.
fuck out of here. Whew. Maybe we should take a, a welcome rest. Quick rest here. There we go. Get our heads back in the game. Oh, an ironwood club. Cool. Alright. Careful there. So these shadow cursed creatures can also bring back the dead. That's not good. Putrefied tumor. Sure, why not? Ugh. Ugh. Anything worthwhile here? Can we make some healing potions, please? Just one. Cool. You up here, kid? Oh, another key. A ragged diary. Fool me to think I'd fare better than the other treasure hunters in this god's for god's cursed wasteland. But the promise of a cursed beast as a trophy was a temptation I couldn't leave behind. Bloody needle blights took me by surprise, though I'm not sure how. How could I have expected anything less? It's all so much worse than I imagined. I found a key up here, but unless it unlocks a chest full of water and sunlight, I have no use for it. Well, you never know. Anything is possible. Oh? What do we got here? Ring of Self-Immolation. Every one of the three gems in this ring is searing hot. Enough to burn yourself with the slightest brush of your fingers. That does not sound helpful at all. Maybe if I combine it with a... Fire Resistance... Elixir... Maybe. Stop that. The threat is over. There's nothing to worry about. <sighs> Alright. Let's get down here. Hmm. Can either go here or there. down there. Raven. Oh. Uh-oh. Bunch of shadow curse ravens. That can be good. Oh, brother. Ow! Oi! Stop it! Oof! Hey! Quit that! Stop it! 
Damn birds. I'll teach you to mess with me. Come on, that's wide enough. Come on. Fine. go. What the hell is that all about? <sighs> all this for some sandals. <laughs> Neat. This letter is written on a scrap of paper. Blood and age have made it near illegible in parts. Help! Darkness has rolled into Rythwin, cutting us off on all sides. We've sent people through, but no one can make it more than a few steps before... Words are obscured by drops of blood. This letter is our last hope. Send help. Anyone. From anywhere. I beg of you. I will renounce Our Lady Lost and kiss the Moon Maiden's feet, if that's what it takes. Just don't let the darkness take us. Fascinating. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought as much. There you go, Lizelle. Let me give you a healing hand. And then I'll give me a healing hand. Uh, what else can we do here? Prayer of healing. Okay, cool. Uh, Let me put my magic. You do your second win thing. Can't give up now. There we go. That should uh, should do for a while. All right. So is all of that really just? for some sandals and the little message for help cry for help this place is protected you might find allies here or at least supplies protected by what from what by who I want to just walk in there, expecting a helping hand to be extended. Oh! Stay together. Keep to the light. Stop! Who's there? Um. An expert in magic. Perhaps I can aid you in traversing this darkness. What do you know of it? Enough not to trust a voice from the darkness. Come into the light. Hands high. 
All right. Jonas, move in. Darkness can force rapid transfiguration. What magic is this? Now is not the time. Harpers, two arms! Oh boy. Oh. Is this what we've come across? Alright, here we go. Yes. All right. Sorry, take your time. Oh, here we go. Ah. No, no, no. What are you doing? No time like the present.
make way. Seriously? The fuck were you thinking there? Smart guy. made it without your help we need to get out of here there's a safe place follow me all right what commence battle oh no he's undead what happened to him? since when did he die the hell Die. Uh, sorry about that. I hope you don't mind. But he, uh, kind of was uh, a little bit possessed. Hand axe plus one. Cloak, parchment. We receive it's been reports. A long day. I'll need to rest soon. We've received reports of increased cult activity ne activity near Last Light. There are larger groups than ever moving through the area. If they are gathering strength, we need to know. Take your unit and patrol the hills to the east. Observe and report back only. Do not engage, unless you have no other choice. Watch yourself out there. Watch the shadows, Jahira. So, I'm guessing it's too late for a revivify. Must be a playable character. Never mind then. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. Huh. Interesting. Oh, what do we got here? The animal never had a chance. The curse consumes everything it touches. Oh. It sure does. What's going on up here? Come on. Let me up here. An unsent letter. Tarnished pendants. I am a god's damn genius. This curses people legging it. A couple of idiots begged me to run back and grab their stuff, but the ring. The ring is my ticket to the city. The old man was desperate. You should have heard the sob story. Ellie May was his wife. Love of his life. Blah, blah, blah. He used to camp by her grave. Kind of weird if you ask me anyway she was buried with this family ring it's deeper into the darkness i'll grab it and be me on be on my way to you baldur's gate better prepare itself because with the two of us in the city we'll ring every last copper out of the place love you dandelion see you soon hmm. it seems like he never made it to baldur's gate so uh What's up with that, I wonder? Oh! Okay, uh, apparently there's a path down there? I'm not sure how, we, how do we get to it, though. I 
I mean, we can just do what we usually do and jump down there. Thank you. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Gale, a long way from water deep. Do your thing. There we go. Oh. That's disappointing. Oh. 22 gold. Potion of healing. Candle. Club. Rusty dagger. Another brimmed hat. Oh, what do we got here? Ah. Oh. This grave is a mess. Probably an animal's doing. Ellie May. Yeah. I've seen this name before. But fortunately, no, no ring inside. Maybe an animal ate it. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Not just an animal. Where lies your guilt? The waiting mode. Hello. Uh, what's going on here? You walk in the darkness unafraid. How curious. Well. <laughs> Excuse me? A fair point. Perhaps this one could assist us. The murdered lie silent. The raven asks, will you be their voice? I will always seek justice for the wronged. Then you and I were fated to meet. This woman tended a bar where she took her patrons, her friends, into her confidence. Promised their secrets were safe with her. Uh -huh. Yet she turned their words into knives and stabbed them in the back. Ooh. They died because of her. And mm. to this day, her victims lie unavenged. Well, she is kind of dead, so how much more can she pay? Death is not the end, merely another beginning. I right. seek a record of this one's crimes, written in her own hand. Through it, I can summon her spirit and force her to face trial for her crimes. Well, it's, it, will, it will be hardly a fair trial. You've already decided her guilt. Why? My reasons are of no consequence. Your soul sparks with justice, with fortitude. This is your chance to bring a murderer to justice. To avenge her victims. Will you take it? I will. What must I do? I thank you. As to those who died by her words. Go uh -huh. to the distillery. The one she calls the Waning Moon. Find the ledger. And bring it to me the distillery huh so why exactly can't can't you do that you seem capable enough to do that you are out here in this darkness same as me so 
little trip to the distillery shouldn't be that big of a deal. Cool. Hmm. Pouch. Gold pouch. Oh. Some dead Harpers over there. Ooh. Bagada's diary. I need to rest. I will make it, but if I don't, let these words tell my story. The curse came. Most ran. My Ron included, but I'd spent too long in the trenches of this town building up what little I had to let it go. Took what I could took what I could in the barrow and followed. I was slower, but I made it. Nearly. God's damn barrow broke. But I'm nearly out. Just need one last rest. A bre a breath or two. And to tell my story. Interesting. Alright, well... That might be worth a look. Another key. Okay. For this wooden chest, maybe? Oh! Oh boy. Knock it off. Oh. Ow.
Why do you need to be... Just cast the fucking spell! Why do you need to be at close range? What kind of spellcaster are you? Sorry about that. Uh, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's try this cape that we got. The cloak, I mean. Sure, it's not that bad. Maybe we add in a little... Little ocean die, maybe. Put some ocean in there. Some ocean action. Oh no, it's still looks red to me. Um, okay. Maybe we try. Did we run, Did we run out of blue dye? Okay. Oh, no. There's blue dye. Okay. I see how it is. You're not even listening to me, are you? Just doing your own thing. There we go. That's more like it. Alright. Let's loot up here. Ooh, a silver goblet. Large enough to contain several bottles of the most expensive wines. Gold ingot. Sylvan stone. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. Better than nothing. So, where are we now? What is this place? Okay. Just a ruined little house at the edge of the cliff. Oh! We're back here again. To Harper Caro. Cool. Uh, let's see where this leads. Oh, a night orchid. That could that could come in handy.
Alright, nothing much to see here. Uh, is there anything we missed? Probably not. So... Alright, let's, let's get back to that bridge now. Oh. Is this where the charming little egg was? Oh. Right. What kind of egg is this? Round and speckled. There is something appreciably cheerful about an egg. Even the word itself, egg. How frolicsome. Alright, if you say so. Huh. Still haven't found the key for this chest. Oh. That was it. Okay. Yo. Alright, so let's see what's across this bridge. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Oh, alright, that sounds nice. Sign me up. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. Interesting. No shadows, you say. So. Magic touch. This must mean that we can go back to regular things. Here we go. You there. Oh. Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Who are All right. you? I am Banadriel. I have sworn an oath to protect the innocent and fight for justice. I mean you no harm. A paladin? She will want to meet you. Keep your hands where I can see them and follow me. Very well. Come. Jahira! now. I assure you, there is no need for this. At ease, Jahira. I am no threat. I am bound by oath not to harm the innocent. Ha. Well, I am certainly no innocent, Paladin. So I'll bind you with vines a moment longer, if you do not mind. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... Yes? It's that it knows its own kind. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you should never have come here, true soul. I am not a true soul. Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yes. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? Uh. 
Right, well, if you'll allow me to explain... It's because of this artifact. What in the hell is that thing? Well, so far it's been a lifesaver, so I'm hoping that you agree. Hmm. More or less. Congratulations! You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Excellent. Jimmy Harpers, all clear, at ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? You mean here specifically? Um, I don't know, I just, I just saw that there's a town here, or a little inn, so I thought might be able to trade. Do you want to trade? I've got a lot of stuff to trade. Um, and uh, I guess I'm looking for a cure for the parasite in my head. Moonrise Tower is my only lead. Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's right. food in the inn over there. Beds too if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Well... You never know, I suppose. It's too dark to tell. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. All right. Noted. I think it's staring out into the dark so much as doing something to my eyes. Oh. That doesn't sound good. All right then. Last last light in. And where's that harbor that we rescued? she make it back here safely? Hmm. I wonder. Oh? Hey. Please, I just want to be alone. Um... May, may I ask why you're crying? It's Dennis. <laughs> He's gone. Cultists. It was so dark, I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up, cut us up, said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get mm. away, but my love, Dennis. Martin Dahl, Roshan. Huh. So how did you manage to get away? I've always been good at running. Unlike Dennis. I didn't realize uh. one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Well, he could still be alive. Do not give up on him yet. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. Uh huh. Well, you have my word. I will find him. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, yes, it would mean the world to me. Right. One way or another, I will find him.
I guess this leads back to the Shadowlands. Maybe. Alright. What else do we got here? Oh? Who said that? Someone up there? Oh. Where does this door lead to? Am I even allowed to enter this door? Is someone getting... Someone gonna get pissy with me if I get in this door, or is everything gonna be all right? The last light in cellar. All right. Well, surprisingly, there's some wine in this cellar. Who could have foreseen this outcome? The Harpers. Uh, the Harpers are a secretive organization whose main purpose is the preserv preservation of all things good and right in the world. They ought fox evil at every turn with shoot fighting or cunning political maneuver. And though they are not well organized, um... Hmm. I read this. There was another book that talked about all of the lesser known factions of... Whatever, Faerun. And one of them was the Harpers. I remember this exact description. Oh, last light detention cell key. Sure, why not? Nobody's here. Might as well. Evidence shows. Is this in case I get locked up here? I can let myself out or whatever. Yeah, it seems like it. Sweet potato. Some thieves tools. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Another way to get out of the cell, I guess. By moving all these crates. And then doing something to the wall, maybe, or... Huh. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? I doubt we're gonna find any cool treasures or what what have you, but <clears throat> you never know. Ah, see, what do we got here? This looks promising. Let's move this out of the way. Hello? Oh. Go on then. Attack it. What are you waiting for? Huh. Uh, what if I do it the, the other way around? Oh. Do it again. There we are. What are we doing here? Huh? Huh. What's this little crevice all about? This little hole. Alright. That's about it then. Intriguing. All right. Well, that's it. 
Nothing. Gaslight's best bargains right here. Nothing to see down there. Let's head back out. Let's head back outside. Back here again. All right. Time for some trade. Pretty, but it can take a bit. It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. Hello. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Um. Uh, let's see your wares. Alrighty then. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Feeling very generous. Take all these weapons too. I don't need them. Uh, yeah, take these books. This studded leather armor too. Uh, you know what? Take these bottles too. Whatever. I don't care. It's. I don't care if it's uh, less than it's worth. There you go. You're welcome. Take care now. See you later. All right. Well, that's just one. Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. Oh, sorry. That's just one traitor down now. Um. I bet they're close. Who's this? Watching us. Hey, that's close enough. What? Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, oh. Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. <sighs> and, uh, what party is it that I'm crashing? Rescue party. Oh. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Oh, yeah. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Did they now? You know, I was there in the aftermath. I don't suppose Counselor Floric made it all, all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. What do you mean? She's inside one of the ground floor chambers. Oh. Guess you need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Huh. I actually got a room and. Oh, doesn't matter. No need to point things out. Oh. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. Oh. Did it now. Hello, odd ox. <laughs> I will peer at the ox with interest. There is something in its eyes. Shit. Well, that's not good. Uh, oh. Still not good. Mm. Mm. I will hold out my hand to the ox. Look, hand. Mm. All right. I should leave you to it then. Mr. Ox? It's you. Yes. What are the odds? It is. So glad you're alright. Well, well, as alright as any of us. Yes. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Interesting materials? What do you mean? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Carol uh? was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like 
a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I see. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Uh, well, I found this... I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Thanks. So... There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Oh! Some armor. Flawed hell dust armor. Hmm. Intriguing. You're hit by a foe within two meters. It might take one to four damage. One less piercing damage. Hmm. Okay. Need anything? Um. I think I've had a material you could work with. What can you make of it? It's perfect. Really. Just a moment. I'll be able to work this one quickly. Alright. Is this gonna be another armor? Ooh. Hell dust helmet. There is a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. Huh. Interesting. Need anything? Got more stuff. Well, well, well. Some gloves? Oh. You're gonna make an entire set for me? Need anything? Oh. Okay. I guess we're bartering. Alright. There we go, that should be enough. I'll be here if you need anything else. Yep. Uh, alright, so... Oh, okay, so this is just the quest. To hand him over enough infernal iron until we can make the full set. Alright, well... We're almost there, it seems. Just got the armor, the gloves, and the helmet, so... That leaves just the boots, right? Check it out! We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Well, my stolen supplies for a while. But, uh, since, since it's too late for that, you got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. Go on. A key. What a does key. it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? Yeah. That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Moore gave it huh. to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Right. Uh. 
All right, kid. I'll go. I'll play along. I'd like to buy it from you. This is a <clears throat> valuable piece, so it's going to cost a lot. And that is non neg non No. The price isn't changing. Right. Um Well, uh, you drive a hard bargain, but you have a deal. Yes! That's my first negotiation. Here, pleasure doing business with you. Premium trinkets and doodah. Mm. Welcome back. Are you <clears throat> looking for something in particular? I'd like to see what you have. All right, here we go. Time to get our money back. Evasive shoes. Acrobatics plus one. Armor class plus one. Alright. Sounds helpful. Let's hear a viciousness. Increase your chance to land a critical hit. Sure, why not? Uh, oil of bane. Oil of combustion. Spoon of saltiness. When salting food, the bearer of the shadow cursed utensil will always add too little or too much, but never the right amount. Truly, the deviousness is top tier. Decanter of nearly endless water. This decanter can, in fact, sometimes run out endless water. Uh, however, it will definitely regain its properties the next day. The day after, for sure. Huh? Fishing rod of alertness. The, wearer, the wielder of this rod cannot be surprised. Uh, unless something unexpected happens. Sending shell. Faint whispers creep from the sending shell when you hold it close, yet the method of sending messages from it is unclear. Arrow of Sparrow Slaying. Magic weapon meant to slay a particular kind of creature. Sparrows in this case. The arrow will grievously wound sparrows it hits. The poor wee winged fellows. Alright. 276 golds worth of weapons. Exchange for 20 gold. Sounds like a fair trade to me. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh. Best bargains, Pleasure's right? all mine. Don't worry. Um. We yeah. To talk. If I wanted water, I would bloody ask for it. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunk. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Kid's got a point. You need to lay off the liquor. Ah, oh, it's you. Don't you get tired of telling people how to live their lives? Not really. If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. Yeah. I heard about the attack in the Shadowlands. And I'm here to help. Oh, sod off. I'm only here because you helped me and my family. I was ready to cut and run back at the grove, but you had other ideas. Uh -huh. Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. I see. Then it shall be my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass, Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. <clears throat> I'm sure that you will. I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either. Yeah. 
can't win them all, kid. Oh, that might be worth a look. What the hell? A loose plank. Oh. Snow burst ring. The wearer, Dale, wearer deals, co deals co cold damage. They also create 4.5 meter circle of ice around them. Scribble note. Journal script is antiquated, but its pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but that blasted toll housekeeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they have something to hide. The shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hoped to learn more about Ketherick Thorm. Village, village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. Interesting. Hello? Um, the guy told us that the counselor is on the ground floor. In one of the ground floor rooms. But where exactly? I'm not so sure. Premium Your move, Maul. Um trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For oh. once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Say, well, I don't know about that. Do you play Lance Ball by any chance? Uh. This is my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Always laid a fine trap for you, Maul. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. Yes, I concur. Put pressure on him. Attack the pieces in front of his Cyric. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. Oh. Huh. Calumsham rules. Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? An offer? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move hmm. suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. Oh, there's plenty about me you have no idea about. Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, uh -huh. I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. So what do you know about this region's history of tragedy? Why spoil it? It's all out there, waiting to be discovered. You never know right. what you might find if you just dig a little deeper. All 
Right. Well, I'll leave you to it then. So wow. Soon. Certainly hope not. <sighs> Where'd you run off to? Where's Mole? Mole? We need to talk. Nice strategy back there. If we put our Thanks. heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Baldur's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. You need to believe in yourself, Maul, not the empty promises of a fork-tongued monster. Zevlor had belief. Didn't get him anywhere good. Besides, Raphael wasn't promising anything stupid. What was he promising? Action for me and my kids, that's all. Huh. Her smile is broad, her eyes twinkling, her face the very picture of innocence. She's clearly lying. But I haven't accepted nothing yet. Sounds like you're in deeper than I am. What are you talking about? Look, Maul, Raphael's dangerous. What did he really offer you? There we go. That's more like it. What I said! That he'd get me and my gang safely to Baldur's Gate! Uh-huh. And also, when we get there, I'd be head of the Thieves' Guild. The head of the Thieves' Guild. And, uh... What's gonna happen to the current head of the Guild? I don't know. Devil stuff? What matters is, I can keep my kids safe. Everyone else has let them down. But I won't. Look, hmm. you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal. Maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. Alright, of course. Can't really influence your decisions, can't tell you what to do. But, I can at least tell you of what you might be facing. Who is this? Whoa, easy there. Here, kitty kitty. Come on. Come to Papa. Here we go. Come on, little fella. Hey, now. Why would anyone keep such neurotic creatures as pets? They're not that neurotic. Oh. Uh, maybe this is the ground floor? Still no sign of the Harper that we rescue. Isabel's room. Who's Isabel? Oh. Uh. Hello?
I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Greetings. I may have the parasite of a true soul, but not, not the mind of one. Bully for us. We've been waiting, hoping against hope, for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Mm. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Uh... I wouldn't know, because... I, oh? Um... It hurt. What did you... do? Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists right. are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Is there anything else I should know before heading off? There is, actually. Go on. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? What? Something's wrong. What? What do you mean? Hello, Isabel. Um... Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Just what are you? True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. What does he want with her? What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Seems that Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We n we're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute. Oh, yeah? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <sighs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Regret this. Death. 
There we go. Ah, damn. Uh, attack. Fertilizer. Oof. Taking some losses here. Take you. That's one way to use your attacks. Fuck.
Where are the stairs? Forgot where they were. All the way over there. I'm fury. Cool. I'm Now it flies up. Fuck's sake. No, you fucking idiot. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Oh. Never mind. Okay, here we go. At least someone is still up here. Um. Kablamo. That's it. Oh. Okay. Who's is this this is the the only guy left? Okay. Let's get him then. Seriously? Fucking hell. Come on, let's get this guy already. Come on, try harder. There we go. There we go. Sight in that corpse. You should take a look. Kapuya show. Oh. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Uh, will strike again. We need you to strike first. Right. And, uh... Who is this Catherick guy? General Catherick Thorm. Remember that name? He's the leader of the Absolutists. Oh. He was a Shaden once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Right. Not only does General Ketherick Thorm live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. Right. A Sharon. Perhaps someone I should seek out. We met him on the road here, commanding the army of the Absolute. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. 
Amen. Well? Does not return from the dead and becomes impervious to arrows out of nowhere. There is mm. magic at work. Strong, mm. arcane, mm. and most likely necromantic. Mm. Healed right in front of me and mm -hmm. chased us into the shadows. We took mm. shelter here and were considering a full retreat until you came along. All right. I don't know why he's waiting. Why he's not marching his army west as we speak. But as long as he remains, there's still a chance. You. Yeah. You are that chance. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Right. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. Okay. We're in more danger than I knew. Huh? Oh. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. <sighs> yeah. Marcus told me Catherick wanted you captured, not killed. What do you think that is? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. Right. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Well, once I take Ketherick's head, you will be safe again. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. Yes. It is the only way. It shall be done. Shifting corpus ring. Another specimen. Cool. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. Uh, so I got a few questions for you. Go on then. This curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Kerthrek. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I yeah. suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Hmm. And, uh, how did you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Uh huh. You know, I can't say I'm overly familiar with Saloon and Shar. Could you enlighten me? Moon and shadow. Light and dark. Divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes uh -huh. life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Right. You know, I can't really say I know much about you. Care to fill in the blanks? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. All right. Fair enough. I'll, uh... I'll leave you to it then. Uh, hello? Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. Oh? If they had taken Isabel too, I... <gasps> Let's... Just focus on defeating Catherick. 
Agreed. We must end the threat at Moonrise altogether. With your help, we stand every chance of doing just that. I trust that you will. Yes. Uh, but for now, I only have questions to offer. Then speak. How did the Harpers first learn of the Absolute? The same way Harpers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We All sent right. an agent to infiltrate this cult. <laughs> the latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, uh -huh. I made some inquiries of my own. So firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. Hmm. You know, I think I've heard your name before. But where? Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods or laying with them. Depending on the bard. Huh. So, which was it? There are as many versions of a tale as there are people to tell it. Let that satisfy you. Hmm. And anyway, the heroics of old have done seemingly... We fight, huh? we die. Oh. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. All right. Surely you made more of a difference than that. The songs would have you believe we saved the realms entire. Perhaps we did. They simply refused to stay saved. Hmm. Maybe we should ask someone else. Well, it's just par for the chorus, isn't it? No one but us. First cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? Just focus on getting through this. Easier said than done. Nevertheless, you must at least try. Mo would do the same for any of us. You know it. But... How do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. You kids stay put. I'll bring Mole home. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole well. would be really mad at us. Fine. But you got to understand, Mole is family. Yeah. Bring her back, please. One way or another, I will bring her back. We won't even have to go out into the shadows to die now that the cultists have found us. Yeah. Nobody else is dying. I will deal with the cultists. Oh, I'm sure they're cowering in their heavily fortified tower, knowing you're on the way. Well, you never know. I am seemingly starting to build up a little reputation, so... Anything is possible. I knew Marcus well. Never suspected a thing. Hmm. Well, these things tend to happen, you know. I wouldn't let it get to me. Oh, counselor, there you are. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Greetings. 
We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you've found a way in. As a matter of fact, I will be heading there shortly. Merciful Timora! That's the first piece of good news I've heard since Elsorel. But I'm not pinning all my hopes on you. Right. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. Right. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. Huh. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. And, uh... Who is this Lord Gortash? Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. Title? The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives. Except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash mm. had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. All right. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Kevin. Okay, guess that's it. Oh. What's up with them? That's your name, isn't it? Art color. I'm Fistula. <laughs> We hmm. we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing right. survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Curious. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met Art anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Hmm. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. Some parchment there. Looks official. What does the parchment say? Assignee Art Collard. Rank Flame. Objective to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs. Headed by Kethric Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Orders take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local House of Healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Note the region's Thorm family are long standing devotees of Selyun, but rumors indicate a Sharon enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Signed, Grand Duke Altan. So he was at the House of Healing. Wonder what he found. Right. Okay. Marcus was scum. But the rest of us are loyal to Duke Ravenguard. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. All right. It's not me you're going to have to convince. But your enthusiasm is appreciated. 